Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. Today I am doing a video I don't believe I've ever done. I am sharing the top five most worn jeans in my closet. I was going to do all of my jeans but honestly I feel like I don't wear all of my jeans a lot. Like I keep some because they look a little bit more dressier, but there are like five pairs of jeans in my closet that I wear on rotation. And so I wanted to share those with you guys today. Um, also because I believe they all come in multiple washes. So if you like the jeans I'm sharing, you can get them in like super dark, even like a black wash. You could get them in white. So that's what I'm doing with you guys today. Everything I'm talking about is going to be linked in the description bar below for you guys to shop. So make sure to check that out along with my other outfit details will be down there. My makeup details will be down there. Everything. So check that out and while you're down in the description bar go ahead and click the subscribe button i would love to have you guys join the fam and let's go ahead and get started okay so when i am doing comparison videos like this i find that it's easier to wear um the same pieces and then change like the piece i'm comparing so i will be wearing this black top from walmart the entire video and then these booties from mark fisher or like nordstrom the entire video that way you can see the difference in like jeans and where they hit um, with the booties because I think these are actually the shortest pair that still show my ankles and this top um, Still shows that the jeans are high-rise, but it doesn't like cover up anything So that is what I will be wearing throughout the video and then the first pair of jeans are these Abercrombie jeans so O M G favorite jeans of all like every pair of jeans in my closet these are without a doubt my favorite I have had these for a few weeks now and you guys I cannot get enough. So these are from Abercrombie. I feel like I'm seeing people on Instagram be like, oh my gosh, Abercrombie's back. I didn't know Abercrombie was back. And I'm like, you guys, Abercrombie never left. Like, I mean, I literally have never not seen a fashion blogger sport Abercrombie. Like, <laughs> all about it. So these are the best of the best. And I think that's what kind of my favorite piece from Abercrombie is. Um, I always seem to gravitate towards their jeans. So I can't think of the full name of these. So I will put it on the screen most of the time. And I mean this. Abercrombie jeans are on sale. It is rare that you can't find a pair of Abercrombie jeans on sale. So I know they look more expensive. Um, but honestly, I never buy them at retail. Usually I can buy them at 50% off. So what I like about these jeans the most is the rip detail. So they have a rip in each knee and then this one that's a little bit higher so it does have slight distressing but they just still look like very elevated like these don't look like grungy ripped jeans they look very nice they feel really really thick and I love that Abercrombie jeans fit but don't have a ton of stretch. So like I can sit in these comfortably, I can eat my body weight in chips and queso, and I have absolutely no discomfort, but they still are secure. They don't like get loose throughout the day because I do have a pair of Target jeans that I really love, but as the day goes on, like you find yourself having to kind of dance yourself back into them. So um, these are really good jeans. They are high-waisted. They have a zipper here, not buttons. Um, real pockets in the front and the back and the back is actually also what I like because I have no butt And so any jeans that made me look like I have even somewhat of a butt I'm about <laughs> so um, I'm wearing a 28 regular in these that is my true size So 28 translate to a size 6 so that's my true size 28 regular and for Abercrombie I always recommend looking at the size charts with the model's height So people say oh, I'm afraid to buy Abercrombie jeans online because I don't know the height I am five foot nine and I actually when I bought these the model was five foot nine wearing a regular and so I was like oh perfect I'm gonna wear a regular and I do um, and I wear a regular in most Abercrombie jeans it's actually rare that I have to buy a long so their size charts are extremely helpful just check them out and get these jeans because oh my gosh they are amazing these jeans are also from Abercrombie and such amazing pair of oh I just like the next pair of jeans I'm gonna share Abercrombie as well I I have no bad things to say about Abercrombie jeans so these are just a straight leg almost like a boyfriend cut again I'll put the full name on the screen but I bought these because I wanted to kind of try it the like flare legged look um, a little bit more because all I had up until I bought these was like skinny jeans or like super wide flare jeans so I was like all right let's go somewhere in the middle 
I honestly wasn't excited to try these on because I was just like, I think they're gonna look stupid on me. And y'all, I could not love these jeans more. They have only rips in the kneecaps and they're a little bit frayed at the bottom. So there's no, again, like super extreme distressing on these. I don't love like overwhelmingly distressed jeans. I just love these. And again, I am wearing a regular in length. So perfect. These booties come up, I want to say about like two-ish, two and a half inches above my ankle. So great length on these jeans. The only thing is I did get these in a 30 because I bought these before, um, one, I really knew Abercrombie sizing and two, before I really started like toning up my stomach. So I've lost a bunch of inches off of my stomach. So these just don't fit me the best up here, but that's totally on me. Um, they're not so big that I want to like go and buy another pair in a 28. I definitely just have to wear a belt with these, but that's why they are a little bit loose. So still get your true size in these. These do have a zipper all the way up button here, real pockets in the front and the back. And again, they just make my butt look cute and I don't have a butt. So I am about these jeans. There are honestly so many ways to style these. So let me know if you do want to see a video about like styling different kinds of jeans, styling like boyfriend jeans, anything like that. I can definitely try to incorporate those into my calendar more. But for now, I just wanted to share a review of the jeans that I love and wear the most. And these are, of course, because I am going down the list like of most to least worn. These are number two, but so, so good. And the third pair of Abercrombie jeans are these. Now these are kind of a middle ground. I wanna say these aren't true skinny jeans, but you can see they kind of flare out slightly at the bottom, frayed at the bottom, but no rips up the leg. So very nice looking. If you don't like rips, I definitely recommend these. Um, again, they have a button here and a zip up the front. I can't remember which pair. I think I have a pair of Abercrombie jeans that have buttons that go all the way up. That's why I keep saying that. I can't remember, but I know they're not my most worn. Um, pockets in the front and the back. These jeans don't make my butt look as cute, I would think, as the others, but I mean, you know, that's, that's what I'm working with. It happens. Um, and I don't know if I've said it, but I'm wearing a 28 regular in these as well. So these jeans are so well made, but I actually would almost recommend going up one size. So I am really in the process of like toning up now. Um, in 2021, I've stopped so much like caring. I don't really care about losing weight anymore. I care about toning up. And with that, I have lost a decent amount of inches off of my waist. And so these jeans actually fit me really well. But when I was like a true size 28, I felt like they were too snug. Like when it was my time of the month, could not wear these jeans. It is that week for me and I have been very bloated this week and this is actually the first time I've been able to put these jeans on. So I maybe would recommend going up one size in these just because they are so well fitted and like very, very tight up top. There's not a lot of give up here, um, which is good because they don't stretch, but just keep that in mind, especially if you bloat a lot. You know, you only be able to wear these like three weeks out of the month. So um, something to keep in mind, but I love the wash of these. These are the last pair of Abercrombie jeans that I have and I love them so much. The fourth most worn pair of jeans that I have are these black jeans from Express and I just am floored. So I haven't been big on Express in years past, not for any particular reason. I think it's just not something I've gravitated towards because we don't have an Express store like close. I mean, there's one in the mall, but I hate going to the mall and I haven't really gone to the mall since COVID. So um, I just haven't ever really bought Express stuff. And then I bought these and I fell in love with the brand completely. So what sold me on these black jeans is that when I saw them in the ad, they were shown with a woman wearing like workwear. So they are jeans, but they're a little bit more elevated. Definitely something you could wear to work if you can get away with like a super dark black jean. Um, like on like a casual Friday or something like that. And then when you went to the review section, I was seeing people share these jeans in workwear or in casual. And, and so they are just great that you can wear all the time. So they are high-waisted. They completely cover my belly button. You can barely see the top of it there. One black button, and then they zip all the way up the front. They have pockets here, belt loops, and pockets in the back. And then these are actually long, so they are touching the top of my ankle 
labels. Um, I can't remember, which is why I put the sizing on the screen, but I can't remember if they had different lengths to these, but the length is perfect for my height. I love these black jeans. The only thing I have to say, and this is true for any black clothing, but I wanted to throw it out there, is these attract animal hair a lot. So when I'm wearing these, I usually will lint roll them like right before I leave the house and then I'll take a travel lint roller with me because I just can't get out of the car without looking like I am still covered in black animal hair. So, oh, and they make my butt look cute too. See, looks like I have a little booty. I know they're kind of hard to see, but um, for black jeans, I definitely recommend these from Express. You cannot go wrong with these, whether it's casual or for work or somewhere in the middle. These are awesome. All right, and then the last pair of jeans are these Target skinny jeans. They are the Universal Threadline. I have had these for four years. I am not kidding. I love these jeans. They are the best $25 pair of jeans you will ever own in your life. They fit like a glove. They zip up and they're high-waisted, but they're not overwhelmingly high. And I love the way these feel. They almost feel like jeggings, but they're not. Like they're definitely jeans. And like I said, I own these in like three washes. I mean, I just, I love them. The only thing I want to say about these that makes them my fifth most worn pair and not my most worn pair is that these are definitely some you have to be careful with because as the day goes, you're gonna be like, you know, kind of dancing into them um, after a couple hours of wear. And so they are not the most, I guess, well-constructed up top as far as like long-term wear. But if you're just going out on a, like a date night and you don't want to wear a belt, that's totally fine. You're going to be okay for a few hours. But like if you're going to wear these for 12 hours, put on a belt because they are going to get loose. They fit true to size. I don't know if I've said that yet. I'm in a six and the length is perfect. They are actually almost a smidge too long. Like I can feel them touching the top of my feet in these booties. So they are very long. So that's just how it goes with Target. Um, I got these like right when I really started like blogging and my YouTube channel. So these are the best affordable pair of jeans that I own. And like I've said, they're like 25 bucks and they look so good on. All right, guys, and that is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my five most worn pair of jeans. I used to be only a leggings girl, like I avoided jeans like the plague, but I actually really love them now because they're comfortable and when they fit right and look really good, it's just super easy to wear. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to go below and click the subscribe button if you are new here. I love you guys so freaking much and I hope that I see you in my next video.